Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about air tests. Air tests are something that you learn at driving school, but after you get your license, you no longer have to do them. No, it's not true. It's still good practice, and today we're going to do it together. So let's go. For the first test, we turn the key to the on position and we lower the air pressure. The visual and sound alarms must actuate above 55 pounds. If one of the two alarms does not activate above 55 pounds, it's a minor defect. If both alarms do not activate above 55 pounds, it's a major defect. For the second test, we start the engine, we release the parking brakes, and we let the air build. At 90 pounds, we apply the brakes, and we verify that the compressor can maintain at least 90 pounds. If not, it's a major defect. For the third test, we release the brakes and we let the air build to its maximum. The compressor must stop between 117 and 137 pounds. If not, it's a minor defect. For the fourth test, with the parking brake still released, we stop the engine and we apply the service brakes for one minute to check for air leaks. If our pressure loss is more than 6 pounds for a truck, or 7 pounds for a truck and trailer, it's a major defect. For the fifth test, we start the engine and we lower the air pressure to verify at what pressure the compressor starts at. The compressor must start above 80 pounds, if not, it's a minor defect.
sixth test is to physically verify the service brakes. We're gonna put the truck in gear and start to move forward slowly. We apply the service brakes to make sure that the brakes stop the truck. If the service brakes are not working, it's a major defect. The seventh and last test is to physically verify the parking brake. We apply the parking brake, we put the truck in gear and try to move slowly to verify that the parking brake holds back the truck. If the parking brake does not hold back the truck, it's a minor defect. Thank you for listening and have a good trip. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe.